So I wanted to create a quick tutorial that demonstrates one of my favorite ways to use Zoom with another product called the mm -hmm app, which is currently available on MacBooks and it's coming to PC. So the idea here is if I'm typically in Zoom and I present my screen, then I lose sight of everything that's going on in the room. So if I go to a typical screen share and then I pick whatever I'd like to present, now I'm bumped out of Zoom and that's what I'm seeing and I lose sight of the group, which is not what I want to do. So a different approach is to use a tool called the mm -hmm app. And if you'll notice, when you use this application, you're actually able to take any slides or materials or resources that you want and have them running behind you in this kind of virtual background. So let me show you what my setup looks like. I'll run the mm -hmm app and you can see it right here. And what I'll choose to do is go new slide and screen share. It will pop up and ask what I would like to share, and I can grab anything I'd like. So for example, if I'd like to share my Chrome browser, I'll go share to share my Chrome browser. So in the mm -hmm app, you can see that I have my browser behind me right now, which means I can go to Google Slides or open up anything I'd like to open. But then over in Zoom, I have my content behind me, which is live and active, and I can click through. Now to move myself out of the way, I'll go back to the mm -hmm app and just take my front-facing video and push that off to the side over here. Now back in Zoom, I have all of my content, but I'm still here. Now you might be wondering in a larger room with more participants, how do you make it so everyone can see your stuff bigger even when you're not screen sharing? And what I'll do is hover over my video in the top right-hand corner, go to the triple dots and spotlight for everyone. What that does for every other user in the room is forces them to view my content full screen, even though you'll notice in Zoom, I'm not screen sharing anything. What I can now do in Zoom is go back to view in gallery mode. So my stuff is being pushed. You can notice that I'm spotlighted for everyone and I can remove that if I want to, but now I can see every participant in the room. If I need to advance through my content, I can go to the browser, which is what I'm sharing through the mm -hmm app right now, and then just jump to anything else that I want. So I might share an article, for example, go back to Zoom, I can see everyone, but then we can see the content that I'm sharing up here. Now, in terms of pulling the mm -hmm camera into Zoom, that's pretty straightforward. In terms of the video camera that we're using down here, instead of using your normal front-facing camera or any webcam that you have, just pick the mm -hmm camera that will pop up when you have this application installed. Notice as well that I can quickly pull up the mm -hmm app and add a new slide if I want to, or even click through any existing slides. And this is where I can change my size of my presentation, get myself out of, they, out of the way with these little hot corners. And then again, my favorite approach here is now I can actively see everyone, I know that they can see my stuff because I'm in spotlight for everyone mode and I can get a view of all my participants. If I want to pull myself down, triple dots, remove spotlight, and then the participants can go back to grid mode or any mode that they would like to see everyone if they choose to. So I hope this video is helpful of lending Zoom, the mm -hmm app to get your stuff behind you here, and the spotlight for everyone feature to get a view of all participants when you want to show content in a Zoom call. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.